I've gotten several questions regarding compatibility with the Razer Core and whether non-Razer laptops will work with it, what GPUs will work with it, what cable it uses to connect to a laptop, so on and so forth. I don't have all of the USB Type-C laptops to test, but I can at least arm you with the information to look for when considering whether your laptop of choice works with the Core or not. I went over the Razer Core's input-output connections in my review and setup guide, but for clarity, I'll point out the I.O. one more time. It has four USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet jack, space for the dual-slot GPU that you choose to put in the core, and more on that later, and finally, the most question-raising part, the USB Type-C port. So first, we'll discuss the GPU and the compatibility requirements for that, the core is designed to support cards with AMD's X-Connect technology and, in, and some of NVIDIA's cards with the hot swappable compatibility. There's a link in the description where you can check out Razer's at launch GPU compatibility list. You can assume anything older than the cards listed are not compatible. I personally show the Radeon HD5750 and how it isn't compatible in a previous video you can watch on my channel. As far as the physical size of the GPU it supports, it can handle dual slot GPUs that are smaller than 12.20 inches long and just shy of 6 inches tall. The Razer Core comes with a 500 watt power supply and 375 of those watts are used for the GPU alone. With all of the newer graphics cards having a much lower uh, TDP or power draw, um, they, that should never become a problem. If it tells you anything, my EVGA 980 Windforce card fits the core with room to spare. So that's, as far as its dimensions, you shouldn't have an issue with some of the larger sized fans and enthusiast cards. So moving on to the cable that connects the Razer core to your laptop. It is a USB Type-C cable based on Thunderbolt 3. Now there are many laptops out there, and even cell phones actually at this point, that are USB Type-C as far as the port is concerned, but the actual technology that it has inside, that it's based on, is USB 3.1. The USB 3.1 connection is much slower than the Thunderbolt 3 and would not be able to support the data speed requirements for an external GPU. So you'll need to check your laptop specifications to see if it is a USB Type-C port and whether or not it is based on the Thunderbolt 3 connection. Now as far as laptop requirements go, will my laptop be compatible with the Core? Razer specifically said that the Razer Core is only designed by them, as far as they are concerned, for Razer laptops. That being said, they use an industry accessible technology to accomplish this, which is the Thunderbolt 3 connection and, and hot swappable GPUs. So which, what this means is that other laptop manufacturers could take advantage. In the link below, there's a, there's a great article that talks about their experience and trials with getting Dell's XPS 15 and the Razer Core to work together. In summary, it looks like you have to make sure all of the drivers are up to date on both the laptop paying specific attention to Thunderbolt 3 drivers and the drivers on the, for the GPU that you intend to put in the core. The next thing on deciding if your Razer laptop will work with the core is to try to find if they have updated Thunderbolt 3 drivers. It is up to man the manufacturer to make sure that this works on their system. It is very unlikely that most laptops out at this point will have that updated. It's, it's a firmware compatibility. They, they, they need to make sure that Intel's newest Thunderbolt 3 drivers are compatible on their system and that it won't interfere with anything, any of the other firmware that's on, on that specific laptop. So I hope this answers your questions as to the compatibility of the Razer Core with GPUs and other non-Razer laptops. If this video helped you and, and helped you make a decision as to whether the Core is for you or even what laptop you want to use, like the video, leave a comment below if you currently use the Razer Core with a, with a non-Razer laptop. Add, add in the comments to whether or not it worked and what it took for you to get it to work. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.